So today I'm gonna uh, change my CPU fan. So I got the new the water cooler, and this is a uh, Kosher S60. This should be a good fit for my PC right now. I'm gonna change my CPU. You see, CPU cooler. It's just it's. Did you see? Um, it's usually a bad CPU fan. So I wanna take these CPU fans and take this the top fan. So firstly, I think I need to take out this the case on the top. So uh, how to do that? It's really uh. so we're gonna from. The back, remember from the back, just pull out tightly. So you need to first pull out here from back, then pull out the cover. Remember from back, all right, then. A little bit. All right, right there. See? Yep. So, just you take off the top cover, and then so you need to you need to install CPU uh, the water cooler here. So I just take out I believe you don't need to take off this the cover so you can install from here the water color is good so here I'm gonna yeah so right now I need to take off this CPU cooler firstly the CPU fan Then, so if you see here, there's a screw over there, and right. There you go. Just disconnect the cable here. You see here, disconnect the cable, and then just pull apart from here. Then, all right, can pull out this one. All right, so this is the original. Uh, from there On the top, straight so to the top, and so normally, uh, if you see the menu, he said here for the best cooling performance, we recommend the mounting the fan as an air intake to your PC case. So it means that here, the air from here. Intake from here and go outside on the top. There should be a best ways, but 
because of this case is designed we are not able to we are not able to intake the water color the air from the front so you have to install the top here I need to uh, remove the CPU fan this will fix it like this one and this cable is for the top fan so I will so I will install here you see here, I will install here the black and black. Right, so I need to get a little bit too fast for the Just a little bit, it's okay because I. Here actually here is the summer pest. I think I can use it directly. I don't need to erase or delete the summer pest. So just paste a little summer pest and then So there are two types of bracket, the screw here, and one is like this, you see, and here is a little bit long and a little bit this short, and another one is the uh, like this, the same, the size is the same, the both of size for the screw. So I need to, this is the B type. And this one is a C type. So I will use the uh, B type to install that. Right now, okay.
there you go and you just a little bit tight just right here and you can push yep you can close it easy am i right and you will use this sata cable for the uh, the pump all right here is two cables here and one is sata and one is the uh, the cpu fan so i will connect this cable to the cpu fan because the manual because of the manual set here uh, right here the three pin to to connect pump touch cable to the uh, cpu fan heater on your motherboard figure two so yep i will The other one, I will. <laughs> so this one, I will connect here I will connect here there you go so that's all sorry now this is CPU cooler. And then I will remove the. All right, I think all done. So I will install the PC and keep watching what's going on, and if the temperature will be reduced, I hope it's so. Also cover from from the front. There you go. Good. Like this. This is my CPU fan changing practice for Lamware Aurora R10 desktop. As you see, the temperature obviously reduced than previously. Also, you can see the CPU clock stable running around 4.25. As well as you was, you will get the better performance. Am I right? Finally, thanks for watching. Subscribe me if you like this video. See you next time.